welcome back on video 102 which was for the edge 10 adding back net points from this tech we have a comment on this video and saying I am trying to get the MSTP child well I presume it means the child points from a Niagara 4 station from a third party software Yabe which is yet another BatNet Explorer but I cannot get to do it uh, the router table is automatically created and it has some issues do you know what to do so he's trying to get the MSTP points from a Niagara 4 so in order to do that you've got to expose the points so let's just go to download Yabe first so let's install Yabe so go to Google type in Yabe yet another BatNet Explorer click on that I accept click on download and that will start downloading very shortly Yabe isn't commonly uh, make sure you trusted to see more so basically it doesn't like downloading it but let's just put that to keep make sure you trust Yabe Explorer before you open it keep anyway open file yes English yes I accept next create desktop install and launch it so we'll just add another device so go to the add device and I know that my local endpoint i.e. the Mac 36 is on sorry this PC is on 192.168.0.200 the Mac 36 is on 123 at the end so we start that and it's picked up the Mac um, 36 with the 6262 device but it hasn't picked up any points there is no points there that's expected so let me just close that one down now I can run that later on we can close that down we don't need that anymore so let's go into the station ignore the station 8004 I'm using instead of a 49 one one I'm using 8004 in this case it's just particular for a, a another job and this is the platform I'm using 8005 instead of 5011 so we have I think backnet on this station we don't want that view AX that would do for me and if I go to discover points this is from the station out now I think there may be one station on my office network no looks like there's nothing on my office network okay but we're not discovering anyway what we want to do is we want to expose points so ex open up backnet open up local device and see this export table here double click that do a discover for all your points on your station and I'm just going to bring a few across so scrolling down so let's put in that one so just dragged and dropped it so that's analog input zero let's have a binary now let's take that one binary input zero let's just do a couple more so you can see the one and the two coming up zero one and two let's do I don't know that one there 
analog input one you've got analog input zero so we've got one two three four five devices now in the export table and they're not writable none of them are writable they've all got the no value there if I want to make one writable let's see if I can find a set point somewhere Sure, we'll have one. I'm just looking for some ending in SP. I could have easily just searched it, but let's do that. Discover. Let's do a simple search. Name like star SP. So anything before it, it ignores. Okay. Here we go. Let's just drag that across. But this is going to be a BatNet analog value. No, it's not. I don't want that. What do I want? I want to go to. Uh, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. I haven't made it writable. I haven't made it writable, that's the reason why. I normally would get uh, the BACnet writable points uh, at the bottom and you can tick the box of what you want writing. Let's show you on another example. Discover, take out the match and go discover everything and that for example. See these BACnet writable points there, I and mean, then I can basically click that for writing into 10, or I can click that for writing into 9. Let's just do write into 9. So there's the BACnet writable point in 9 for that. Anyway, I'm digressing because this isn't the exercise here, the exercise is to view the BACnet points from a third party device or YAVE software. So those are the points in there. Now we're going to run up YAVE again. If I can find out where it is. Uh, download. I don't want to install it. plus add the station start these are now the objects that it's found and if we just move that across there to there you can see in there so inputs UIO2 crack UIO2 crack input one extract pressure high limit high limit notice that the, the, they're changing when I'm clicking on them high limit three binary two binary input two and this digital output seven so that's viewing them now no problem at all because we've added them to the export table so when you're wanting to expose BACnet points to a third party device on Niagara, you need to put the points into the export table. It's easy to do. You just click on discover, you get all your points coming in and it's just a case of drag and drop the points that you want. You can see the points that I've dropped down there have now greyed out. I can drop that one down. 
so you make the points that you want exposable via BACnet and that's how it works with the Niagara system. Thanks for watching.